Hello people, it's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive look at the word fine and I'm also going to tell you why I am doing this video or the reason behind it, okay? Let's do this. Happy Sunday people, welcome back to the channel. Um, before we get into the actual topic for today, I just want to mention something and that is that in this last week, the channel has now hit 3,000 people who follow the channel. Um, this is amazing. I can't believe that there's so many people who find value in the content that I create. And one of the biggest things that's come to me through this channel is the opportunity I have to uh, interact with the positive and encouraging souls that um, seem to find this channel. Um, I thank God for that every day. And I hope in the future we can grow this community to even bigger numbers but 3,000 is just an amazing feat. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to each and every one of you for your support and your encouragement over the last two and a half years. It's much appreciated. <laughs> I've got my earphone in again. <laughs> so the word fine, why am I talking about the word fine today? Well, the, the thing that gave me the, the idea for this video is that I've noticed in my um, language exchanges, so my friends who I exchange languages with, um, there's something that there's, there's there's something that quite a lot of English students say that we as native speakers don't say, okay? And that is, I hope you are fine. <clears throat> um, it's fine. Everybody everybody understands what you're saying when you say that, but um, speaking from a British English point of view. I'm not sure about the American. I don't think I've ever heard an American say it either. Um, we wouldn't say, I hope you are fine. Um, I think the reason why a lot of people do this is because in, in their native languages, they may use the same word, okay? So I'll give you an example from Spanish. I'm fine, estoy bien. I hope you are fine, espero que estés bien. But in English, we don't use the same word. It doesn't sound natural. Um, so you can, you can make yourself sound a lot more natural by changing this vocabulary point. So instead of saying, I hope you are fine, uh, there are a, a, a couple of things you could say instead. So you can say, I hope you are well. <clears throat> I hope you are okay. Or I hope all is well. If you use them three in place of, I hope you are fine, you will immediately sound like a more natural English speaker. Okay, so now let's take a deep dive at the word, a deep dive look at the word fine. Um, so the first, the first instance in which we use it is to mean of very high quality, okay? So you'll often hear um, the expression, a fine wine, and that means it's a wine of very high quality. You will also hear it used um, to describe a person who is worthy of admiration or a very moral person. So if somebody says, oh, he's a fine man, it means he's worthy of admiration or a very moral or a good example of, of a moral human being. We also use it to express just good or satisfactory, okay? So if someone has written um, an essay and I'm a teacher, for example, and they show me it to say, what do you think? I can say, yeah, it's fine. And it means it's good or it's satisfactory. Before, we use the word fine to express agreement, okay? And the way we do that is by saying, fine by me. Or you can say, that's fine with me, or something like that. Um, so for example, if someone says, Gino, can I borrow your laptop for a couple of days? I can say, yeah, it's fine by me, take it, mate. Number five is the example that we were talking about in the very beginning of this video to mean I'm in good health uh, or basically well, okay? So if somebody says, Gino, how are you? I can say, I'm fine. The next one is bright and clear weather, okay? So when the sky is blue and the sun's in the sky, you can say it's a fine day. So an example would be, uh, it's winter at the moment, but let's say I go out of my house and the sun is shining, the clouds the clouds are not non-existent, I can see the blue sky. I can say something like, oh, it's a fine winter's day today. Another way we use it is to describe a very thin or narrow piece of material, okay? So I've got some shorts here, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a, yeah, there it is, you can see it there, there's a, there's a strand. So I could say, I could describe this as a fine strand of nylon, a very fine strand. We can also use the word fine to describe a sharp point, okay? So this is a pen. 
but let's pretend that it's a pencil, okay? And as you know, that as you write with a pencil or draw, eventually the tip, it becomes blunt, and blunt means not sharp. It's Blunt is the opposite of sharp, okay? So you could say something like, I sharpened my pencil to a fine point, and it means a sharp point. Number nine is, um, we use the word fine to describe a financial pen penalty, okay? So it's like a penalty charge for either illegal or um, illicit behavior, for example. So to give you an example of that, I could say something like, um, she was fined 1,500 pound for driving offenses. And the last one is more American English than it is British, but people still do use it here sometimes. And you will hear the word fine um, used to describe a man or a woman who is uh, sexually attractive. Um, and you can usually tell with the context and the facial expressions if they mean it in that context, okay? I just came to edit and realized that I'd missed one of the meanings out, okay? So you can see here I've got a jar of coffee, all right? And we also use the word fine to describe um, when something is has been ground into really small particles, okay? So when they make this coffee, they roast the coffee beans and then they grind them into a fine powder. So you can see it's a, they're, they're a really fine powder, but I could make it even finer if I get some out and grind it between my fingers, then I can make it into a fine dust. So we also use the word fine to describe something that is in really small particles. That is it for today's video, people. Thanks for your attention. If you found this video useful, as always, please feel free to share it with your English learning friends. The more people we can reach and bring on board with this online community, the better. I hope you all have a brilliant day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ciao.